up guys, Baker here. Today I have a couple distortion effects. Um, pretty simple, quick tutorial I hope. Um, one you've probably heard of a lot going on lately. It's called Wave Warp and uh, basically looks something like this if I do a quick round preview. And I'm doing it on full so you can actually see it better because on quarter or something it'll just look kind of kind of poopy and stuff. So anyways this can uh, render any slower that would be very helpful um, let's go ahead and take a quick look of the boom so kinda subtle but then the other one some other people don't know about is what uh, I actually found first before wave warp pretty similar but it's like a little different kind of uh, fuzzy distortion kinda thing I don't know anyways so first, I'll delete these adjustment layers, and we'll make a new adjustment layer. And, uh, you know, trim the adjustment layer just because it's easier to see, you know, that it's not like a color correction or something, and it's just like a simple thingy. Anyways, we'll start off with some wave warp. Meep. Put that on. And, uh, oh, what the heck? Wave world. No, sir. Wave warp. <coughs> so we get some little wiggly things and uh, we're gonna change the width down pretty low about five okay so that looks pretty good right there maybe we can do some pinning on the all edges or we can do it on the horizontal edges depending if you want the sides to be distorted or not as well alright so um, we can change the, um, the the wave type basically because um, these are little sine waves and we can change it to smooth noise it's kinda a little bit more random I kinda like it so that's pretty cool so we'll start with the height pretty high up let's say 100 I don't know I don't remember what I use but let's say 200 keyframe the uh, height move forward a half second to a second keyframe back down to zero and um, if we don't do anything it just looks really uh, static so we're gonna change the phase keyframe that move forward and just spin it around, I don't know, two times or something like that. And then so um, the RAM preview is pretty poopy, so if you do it in full it'll look a lot better. Anyways, that's just like a simple distortion thingy. Another one is, if I delete that, have you guys heard of Scatter? So uh, Scatter is pretty cool, just makes it all like scattery. But um, that's kinda boring. But if you change it to vertical, it's like wow, bass hit. Can do it for like um, yeah, even like intros, like bass, like techno, something like. You know what I mean? Anyways, okay, I'm sidetracking. So just keyframe the uh, scatter mounts. Let's say like something high, like 500. Okay, see, you can see 500 is not actually a lot. So depending on what you like, and you can set it down to zero, and it's like. But also make sure you do randomize every frame, otherwise it'll look poopy again. So, um, super quick tutorial on some distortion, <clears throat> scatter and wave warp, and just like, <laughs> anyways, okay, go ahead and uh, quick like, comment, thingy, and um, video response to, so if you make something cool, uh, get your name out there and stuff. Okay, guys, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Boom!